Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a Starbot system. Most of the tutorials out there fetches every time when someone reacts. So basically, when someone reacts, um, the bot fetches 100 messages in the Starbot channel, which is really, really bad practice. So my Starbot only fetches once when the bot starts and other messages relies on cache. Alright, so um, to get started, you must make sure that you have the latest version for now, which is 2.4.3. So just head on to npmjs.com slash package slash free I'll link this down in the description. So you just click on test and make sure you're on the latest version. Okay, so just go to your terminal and just run npmi recon lx. All right, so once you run this, you, should, you want to go to package.json, which you can find, if you scroll down, just click on package.json, and then you want to find for recon lx. So you want to go to dependencies, and then you want to find recon lx. So as you can see here, my version is not up to date. So I'm just going to quickly install ReconLX. So npmi ReconLX. All right, so once it's done and I go to package.json, it should change the version to 2.4.3. All right, so let's just start this tutorial. All right, so if you don't know what this is, this file system over in here, this is called the command handler. You might want to set it up. Links will be in the description for the project handler video. And if you want your Starbucks system to be multi guild you actually need to connect to MongoDB. So that video will also be in the description below. So to start out, we're just going to go to the client folder and we're going to create a new client. So I'm just going to call this, if you don't have the client folder, simply just create a folder and just name it client. And then let's just create the uh, client. So this file, I'm just going to call it starboard.js. And here we're going to require the Starboard client. So const equals require recon LX. Okay, so in here we're just going to do Starboard client. All right, so let me just quickly go to the npm web website and then uh, let me just show you the documentation. So if I go to Starboard client, yep, it's here. You can go to Starboard client options. So you can actually um, add a guild if you want, but in this case, we're just going to need the client. All right, so const uh, starboard client. Okay, make sure it starts with a lowercase. New starboard client, board client. Okay, so in the options, we need to pass in our client. So let's just quickly import our client in here. So const client equals require. And get it from our index.js, so dot slash, dot slash, oops, dot slash, and the index.js will do. All right, so for client, you can just pass in the client like that, or you can do it like this. If you want to make it for a single guild, you just have to use the guilds, and then you want to pass in an array. And then for the first guild, you want to specify your own ID. So ID will be your guild ID. So let's just quickly grab the ID. This card, let me just grab this ID. And then we have options. So here's where you're going to put our star count. So star count, so basically what star count is, um, the amount of stars in required to be registered. So basically, that means that how many reaction it needs, how many star reaction it needs before it gets sent to the channel. So in this case, um, to make it simple, I'm just gonna make it a one or two. We can make it two because it's uh easier. All right, and then next we have the starboard channel. Basically, what this starboard channel is is whenever someone reaches the star count, the message will be sent into this channel. So let's just quickly grab the ID. I've already created a separate channel for this, so I'm just going to use the channel, starboard channel, zoom in a little bit. All right, so do, do it like that. Okay, once you're done with that, just do module.exports equals to starboard client. Okay, so that's how you initiate your client. Once you're done with that, you want to go to events, and then you want to go and create a few events. So let me just call this um, the starboard.js, okay? So, um, once again, it's in events and a starboard.js. The first thing you want to do is you want to import client. So const client equals require dot slash index.js. So client dot on, and then we have our message, message reaction and I'm pretty sure message reaction and yup. And then we're going to have our reaction and emoji. So reaction. Okay, we only need the reaction and then we're just going to copy this one more time for the message reaction remove. So uh, in here, we're going to change that to remove. All right, and then we're going to quickly require our client. So const uh, starboard client equals require dot slash client slash starboard. So we're going to use the uh, 
the client where we created earlier and then we can use the listener so starboard client dot listener and then we just gotta pass in the reaction in here same thing goes to here we're just gonna do starboard client dot listener and i'm gonna pass in the reaction all right so let's just start this bot and let's just test this out all right so let's just simply send a simple message so like hello there and then once we react, so let me just quickly give a star reaction. So let me just react with star. And let me just go to my alt account. And I'm just going to react with star. And you should see it sent a message into the starboard channel. So as you can see here, two stars, commands. And then uh, if you unreact, it's going to unreact. It's going to edit over in here. So it's pretty self-explanatory. So if you click on jump, it's going to bring you to the message. So this is how you do it for a single guild. So let's just say you want to make it for multiple good. Let's say your bot is a public bot. You want to make it for multiple good. I got you with that. All right. So let's just head back onto Visual Studio Code. So I'm just going to remove this uh, guilds property because we don't need it for a single guild anymore. We're going to make it for multiple guilds. So we don't need that anymore. So uh, to start off, once again, make sure you're connected to MongoDB. If you don't connect to MongoDB, this won't work. So models we just can create a folder called models if you have that models folder you can just use that previous folder all right in models we use, we're just going to do starboard.js perfect so in here uh we're just going to const mongoose because require mongoose so we're going to quickly grab mongoose and then we're going to define a starboard model so starboard model equals to new oops it's going to be mongoose the model okay for this schema name we're just going to name this um starboards comma and then we can have our new mongoose not schema so for the schema we actually need uh the guild which is going to be a string and then we're going to need a star count which is going to be a number uh starboard channel which is going to be a string all right so uh this is our model so let me just quickly export this model so a module dot export equals to starboard model okay so now let's create a command so i'm just going to create a slash command because we are using discord version 13 so let's just uh use the features all right so i'm just going to use it in utils and we're just going to call this starboard.js Okay, so I just used my boilerplate. So we have modular exports. We have our command name, our description, and this you can ignore this if you want. This is not necessary, but I'm just I, I'm just gonna use it for intelligence. So for this name, I'm just gonna call this name set starboard. Let me just use starboard. All right, and then uh, for the description, we can just use set a starboard channel. Okay, let's just remove the um, exclamation mark. So we can have some options in here. Okay, so for the first option, we're gonna have channel. So this channel basically um, gets, okay, let me just quickly move the model to the right hand side. So you can see actually what's going on. First, we're gonna get the, okay, let's just get the number first. Okay, why not? All right, so the name is gonna be star count. And then the type of the, this option is gonna be a integer. So basically what an integer is, if you don't know, you just can Google it. It's like whole numbers. So if you put numbers, I'm pretty sure you can put decimals, but we don't want decimals. That's why we're just going to use integers. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set a description for this description. Okay. So we're just going to do um, amount of stars before being sent to the channel. Or you can put whatever description you want. We're just going to set the required to true. All right. So star count, integer, and then we're going to add a random description. And let's just make this option required. Okay. So for the next one, we're going to get the channel, which is pretty simple as well. All we're going to do is name. We're just going to set a name to channel. Type will be a channel type. And then we're going to add a description. Okay, I hate that description. I've typed that myself. And then we're just going to do um, channel to send star board messages to. 
and I'm just going to make it required again, it's going to be true. So we're going to require both of these arguments. Okay, so now we're going to okay, use the command. We're going to make the command right now. So I can just remove that. And let's just quickly import it into our project. So const uh, starboard model equals require dollar slash dollar slash models slash starboard. Perfect. So now let's just get both of these arguments. So let's just get this and this. Um, I'm just going to call this const star count, which is going to be a interaction dot options dot get integer because this is an integer type. So we're just going to do get integer and then we're going to get the star count, which is the name. So the name is star count. So let me just use the name in here. Okay, so next we can define the channel. So cons channel, or you can just do star channel. Okay, let me just make this star count. Capital camel case. Okay, interaction the options not get channel because this is a channel type, and then we can just put channel in here once again. Just put it like that. Okay, so once you've done that, the next thing you want to do is you want to check if this channel is actually a, a text channel. Okay, so we must make sure that this channel is a text channel. So you don't want people be mentioning uh, the category channels. You don't want people mentioning the voice channels. So we're just going to make a simple type. So if star channel is not equals to, oh, star channel dot type, because we're going to use the type, it's not equals to guilt text. If it's not equals to guilt text, we're just going to do return interaction dot follow up content will be please uh choose a text channel all right um let me just show you guys so if it's not a text channel we're just going to send this message over in here all right so next we're going to get the data so const data equals to await starboard model dot find find one and then we're just going to get the guild which is going to be interaction dot guild id Okay, so if there is data, we're just going to delete data because we're going to make a new new data. Data to delete. And then we can do new starboard model for the guild. We're just going to do interaction dot guild ID. It's not a function. All right. So next thing we're going to do is star count. The star count is going to be star count. All right. I'm just going to make it. Um, I'm not going to use the shorthand because I don't want to confuse you guys. So starboard channel, starboard channel will be starboard channel the ID. Uh, it's not starboard channel. It's star channel the ID. All right. So once we've done with that, we actually need to save the data. So let's just do that real quick. Dot save. All right, so once we've saved the data, we need to update the cache. So, so we actually also need to import the starboard client. So const starboard client equals require dot, dot slash dot, dot slash client slash starboard. And then we're just going to use the client and we're going to update the cache. As I said, we're going to use the cache. So star, uh, starboard client dot config dot guilt dot add. And I'm going to add a new guild. So ID is going to be interaction dot guild ID comma options. We're going to set the star count to star count, a star count. And then we're going to set our starboard channel to star channel dot ID. Okay, pretty simple. Okay, so once we've set all of these, it should be good to go. And let's just send a success message. So we can just do interaction dot follow up content um your starboard channel has been sent to and then we can just mention the channel real quick and then uh with and then you can just do start count counts to get registered okay so you can do whatever you want i'm just gonna make it like this so it's more uh, easier to know that it's working all right, so the last thing we need to do is we need to actually cache all of these guilds in the ready event. 
So you just got to go to ready event. So let's just go to events and we're going to go ready.js. So you see something like this. In this, we actually need to have the client as well as the uh, model. So const starboard client equals to require dot slash dot slash, I mean dot slash only client slash starboard. And we need to import our model as well. Const starboard model equals require dot slash models slash starboard. All right. So once we've done that, uh, we're going to do const data equals to await starboard model not find. We're going to get all of the data. All right. So once we get all of the data, we're just going to do starboard dot config. Oops, it's starboard client dot config dot guilds dot set. And I'm going to set a guild. So we're just going to do data and map. Okay, we're going to map out all of the data. And then we're just going to return a object. So ID will be x dot guild um, options. We're going to do start count to x dot start count. And then lastly, we have the starboard channel. So we're going to set it to x dot starboard channel. Oh, one more thing, I actually need to make this asynchronous. So let me just add a async over in here. All right, so let's just test this command out. So let me just run the slash command to set a new guild. So starboard, and we have to set a start count. So I'm just gonna set the start count to one. So it's easier for me. And then the channel, I'm gonna test this channel. So I'm just gonna do the category. So if I do text channel, it's actually a category over in here. It's gonna say that this, please mention a text channel. So please choose a text channel. So let me just do that again, star count, and then channel, I'm just gonna use the starboard channel. Or oh, I accidentally uh, named that channel, it should be starboard, uh, I mean star channel. Yep, that should be it. So let's just try running that again. So if I do starboard, star count one channel will be starboard channel. And yeah, it should be starboard channel has been set to starboard channel with one count to get registered. All right, so if I do something like hello world, and I react to it, so star. Okay, as you can see here, it actually sends it over in here. So if I restart the bot, so let me just quickly restart the bot, restart. Okay, so let, that's me restarting the bot. Okay, so if I do something like this again, so let's spam a single random message, and let me just add a star. All right, it's gonna send, okay, because it even works after you, after you restart your bot. So as you can see here, when I click on jump, it's going to come to this message. I go to my other Discord account. I click on this. It's going to update. As you can see here, there is two stars right now. So yeah, that should be it for the Starbucks system. If you have any questions, feel free to join the support. So links will be in the description. Other than that, have a nice day. See you in the next video. Bye.